Dwayne Perkin, very happy to be here. Uh, thank you for having me. A lot of blacks, a lot of queers. Uh, I am one myself. I am a, a black, poor gay man, specifically in that order. I would put uh, black first, because uh, I got a big old dick and say nigga a lot. <laughs> it's true, it's girthy. Um, and then I would put um, poor before gay, simply because I will pretend to be straight for money. Uh, yeah, I love dick, but love financial stability more. Um, so hire me. Uh, this has been crazy time, crazy time. You know, racism, pandemics, uh, quarantine was crazy. Uh, I personally took a lot of time to learn. I became a student of life. And um, I learned so much. One of the things that I learned, I learned that um, that dare was a complete bullshit and that uh, weed is a gateway drug because if you use it enough, your tolerance goes up and then it stops working. And like, and I'm not saying this to say that like, I'm gonna start doing crack or something because I'm not, but I'm saying I've thought about it enough that if someone were to offer me crack on the right day, when I'm in the right mood, giving a certain number of fucks, I would 100% do crack. <laughs> I'm kidding. I think. I hope. But there's always a moment when I'm at home, dancing in my house, smoking weed out of a glass pipe, that I'm like, oh, if you took me out of a house and put this on the corner, that is crackhead behavior. Um, but I know that I am not a crackhead, but I am aware that I have crackhead tendencies, and that is okay, because why? I am pretty. Um, what else, what's next? What else did I learn? Um, I learned a lot about politics, because like, you know, while we were in quarantine, the cops kept killing everybody, everybody was racist, it was crazy. Um, I learned that people are willing to die for Donald Trump. Isn't that crazy? That woman in the insurrection was murdered. She died for Donald Trump, which is crazy, because in my mind, I'm like, Obama is my favorite president, and at the most, I would let him fuck depending on what I ate that day. We are just not the same people, we are not. Um, I also learned that, um, that I am not my ancestor's blood and drink. Everybody knows that saying, right? I am my ancestor's drink. I am my ancestor's blood and drink. Well, I did a lot of thinking. I came to the conclusion that that is a lie. I don't even think my ancestors would like me. Uh, you see, Harriet Tubman used her energy to free slaves, to free so many slaves. Today, I use my energy to, to retweet a couple of tweets to free Britney Spears. That is a white woman. My ancestors are ashamed. Um, but cool little fun story. Um, I do believe that black people should have reparations, as my ancestors, I believe, would also think. Um, but I gotta be honest, I have this little fear. Um, one of my greatest fears is that reparations happen, um, but the government doesn't modernize it because they're petty, and I'm just uh, stuck with 40 acres and a mule, and I'm overwhelmed. Um, because like, what am I gonna do with 40 acres and a mule? I had a panic attack this morning because my phone charger wouldn't work. Um, I just feel like, because like, first of all, what is an acre? Uh, I don't know, and I feel like if you don't know what an acre is, you shouldn't own an acre of anything. Uh, second of all, what am I gonna do with a donkey? I feel like donkeys are God's first drafts of horses. It was a mistake that we just um, continued to uh, let exist, kind of like the Kardashians. Um, I was so mean, I should not have said that, I apologize. Uh, but I do feel like there would be a moment where I'm in my field, in my 40 acres, next to my donkey, I'd be looking out and I'd think, wow, this is a lot. Really wish I had a couple of slaves, but stop, don't, no, no, don't cancel me yet. Because here's the thing, I wouldn't be a heartless monster and use people, I would use affirmative action, which benefits who the most? White women. White women, yes, you are correct. Um, all my slaves will be white women. And I can just like foresee it now, just like a throng of white women picking cotton. I walk up to one of them and she's like, oh my God, uh, this is terrible. This is inhumane. Can I speak to the manager? 
for the first time in my life, I could be like, I am the manager. <laughs> Uh, I feel like that joke would have went better if I did not kick a white woman, but similar to um, her ancestors, I don't have heart. <laughs> um, what else, what else? Speaking of white women, this is a little aside. So I was a dancer for 10 years professionally. I am super talented. And um, I went back to a dance class and, uh, within quarantine and it's a um, social distance. So we had these little six by s six foot squares and this white woman was dancing next to me. and. Um, she was not following the square. So when we were dancing, I kind of hit her accidentally. I punched some shit out of her. And I was like, oh my God, I am so sorry. She was like, no, 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 don't worry about it. And I was like, are you sure? Because this looks bad optically. And she was like, no, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. And I was like, okay, girl. Um, and when she walked away, I walked away and I felt this breeze come past my face and I turned around and she was gone. But I heard this voice, it was from my ancestors. And all they said was, my nigga. <laughs> Uh, no, things are real bad though. Um, okay, and lastly, in quarantine, I learned um, a lot about myself sexually. I had a lot of time to explore the masturbation space, uh, and I brought this sex toy called a flashlight. You know what a flashlight is? It's like a flashlight that you put your dick into. Um, and the one I bought off of Amazon.com, on one end, there was a mouth with teeth and tongue, very strange. And then on the other end, there was a vagina. When I bought it, I did not know that there would be a vagina. So when I got it, I used the mouth part, mm, chef's kiss, it was great. Uh, but I never used the vagina part because I kept thinking, if this feels good, is that gonna make me straight? Um, then a couple weeks ago, I got very high and I was like, yeah, <laughs> today's the day. Uh, and long story short, I am bisexual now. <laughs> Slide in my DMs, ladies. Uh, thank you so much. I am Dwayne Perkins.